Well, today is the uh, first day of, uh, well, actually it's the first ride that Susan has taken with her brand new bike computer. She bought a uh, Lezine, L-E-Z-Y-N-E, -E, Super GPS bike computer. It's uh, also marked as a special edition. And uh, I think that might just be because of its color. She bought a red one. They're available in blue and black. The blue and red version of the uh, bike computer sell for an amazing $104, and the black one sells for $149. She uh, received the uh, computer yesterday, and I went through all the menu options and set up uh, certain uh, values that you typically set up on your computer. Time and uh, what kind of unit of measure do you want, and things of that nature. But it also asks you to provide your height, your weight, and the weight of your bike, which I'm assuming it uses to calculate how many calories you're burning up. But um, the reason we went with this particular brand over Garmin was very simple. It's like a third of the price and I will tell you it has every bit of the same functionality up to and including supporting using a power meter and a power meter that has right and left values. So I thought that was pretty amazing. But the primary reason we did it is we got a little tired of Strava cheating Susan out of her data metrics. In other words, they were consistently shortchanging her on what her average speed is, what her distance is, and exaggerating the amount of riding time she was doing. doing. I don't get that using my Garmin device and uh, as I mentioned before in other videos we're pretty sure it has to do with the fact that Wahoo and the Strava app both use the GPS on the phone for calculating this stuff. That's ice! <laughs> That's cold when that's ice. So this uh, GPS computer is a GPS computer. The only reason it relies on your phone if you decide to use it is for navigation. Which uh, I'd like to try sometime but it's not all that important to us. The bike uh, computer is very easy to set up, very easy to use. Once you get a hang of the menu options, you can fly around and navigate through the uh, through the options very easily. I do like the idea that you can put different data fields on different screens. You can uh, control how many data fields you want per screen, up to five, with like a, I think a minimum of two. So you can have a very cluttered data screen to uh, pay attention to as you ride, or a very simple one, which Susan has set up right now initially. So we're very excited about it. 
Uh, we've only been out for a little while with it, only about five miles at this point, but I'm impressed with it. In fact, so that I said to Susan, you know what, I think I might decide to go with one myself and uh, set the Garmin aside. One of the main reasons to set my Garmin Vivo Active Heart Rate Monitor side or computer side is, as you can see, it's under here. And when you wear it there, you can't see anything, nor can you control it. 